Hi everybody. Today is Friday, October 7th. <clears throat> I'm in the shed and I have a mail call. So, Baker's Creek Seeds. My mother had been telling me that she's been wanting me to grow salary for the last couple of years and I kept forgetting. So, when I was um, doing the seedlings the other day, um, I said, let me go through my seeds, and I told you I organized my seeds, and I didn't have any salary. So, I went ahead and ordered some and more beets, because I was running out of beets. So, here we go. I got two packages of, I think it's Deline or D. Aline Salary, Baker's Creek. This is what it looks like. Let me see. I'm probably going to have to start seeds indoors for this. That's what it says. Start seeds indoors 8 to 12 weeks ahead of last frost date. So these are going to be spring. Spring seeds. It says they're frost hardy. Ahead. Oh, I'm wrong. See, I'll be reading stuff wrong. Start seeds indoors 8 to 12 weeks ahead of ahead of the last frost date surface so gently pressing into soil transplant outdoors after last spring frost into rich moist soil in full sun so it is after last frost date so this is a spring seed this is called utah tall salary utah tall and you'll hear the air conditioner going off and on start seeds indoors 8 to 12 weeks ahead of last frost date. So again, another one. Uh, surface so gently pressing into soil. So another spring one. I hope I pronounced this right. Chiogia. I think. Beets. I like these. I like the rings. Okay. So it says so three to four weeks before last frost date. So it says before last frost date, but I always plant um, beets this time of year. So, and it's always worked for me. Golden beets. A man planting site with well rotted compost. Work soil deeply and remove rocks three to four weeks before last frost <clears throat> now miss linda talked about these a lot this year they're called albino beets or sugar beets a man planting site with well rotted compost soil and remove rocks so three to four weeks before last frost date before last frost And then they give you a free pack of seeds. I don't even eat this type of lettuce, but it's a Merlot red lettuce, a red lettuce. I don't like Merlot lettuce, but I have them. And if times become hard, I bet you I'll plant these and eat it. <laughs> so that is my um, mail call for today. So I'm also gonna let you see what's going on with the seedlings. They have sprouted immensely I planted these late on Sunday and on Tuesday I saw it I started seeing um, seedling sprouting let me show you look at that all of these look at that I just took the tops off now and those are these down here and you will see that I moved the fan over here you may wonder why I, I did that. Number one, so, and I have the fan on low, so that the roots, so the stems of the plant could get strong. Not only that, the fan, having it on low, helps keep um, gnats away. So, um, yeah, the fan is doing pretty good. I had a tall fan in here but it was taking up too much room. So I put this fan on the chair 
Um, I may back it up a little bit and turn it on stronger so it makes sure it hits all of the ceilings. It's kind of hitting below, but not really. Um, once, if you're new to gardening and you're doing seedlings, once your seedlings start sprouting, you can take the plastic covers off of your seedling trays because they sprouted. And now all they have to do is sit up under the grow lights and just keep working. So by the end of this month, I should be able to plant these, um, these seedlings in the garden. So I'm happy about that. And I'm just gonna set these here in my little container. And that is about it. I'm excited about all of the carrots and celery and beets and everything else that um, I'm going to be planting this year. Very excited about it. Um, I'm looking forward to getting the, um, the yard in line. I probably will not be doing a video tomorrow because um, I will be at the Palm Desert Marketplace because I am a master gardener and I'll be holding it down at the tables all day from 8.30 a.m. until about 1.30 um, in the afternoon and then I have to do a notary and then after I do a notary I'm going to come home and I'm going to veg out and I'm going to look at TV. <laughs> so that's about it. This was just a quick video showing you my seeds that I got and giving you the update on my seedling. So that's it for today. As I always say, please find peace within yourself and please, please be peaceable with each other. I love you all. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening.